been pulled over with four four hoopers in a car before, and we've all been taken out search because we were black. Right in a white neighborhood. I went to an all white school in high school. I, okay, it was another. It happened here two years ago. I got pulled over on 495. The officer asked me to step out of the vehicle. I'm literally on the side of the highway. My wife, me, and one of my friends sitting. The median, I don't know what it is, the median of the highway on the side. And he comes up to me and says, what if I fuck up your Monday and put you on a headline and arrest you right now? Didn't do anything. But because I was an athlete, a black athlete driving a nice vehicle, that's what he came up with. And how am I supposed to respond to that? And I'll just be waking up on Monday morning with the ESPN headline, Bradley Bill arrested because interaction with the police. But it's not, it's, I mean, it happens. It doesn't happen to me. It doesn't just happen to our, I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And we just have to stop being ignorant to the fact that it exists. What up, DC? What up, DC? Come on, man. Ms. Austin, she stated that the first thing she said today is Juneteenth. And Juneteenth is a celebratory holiday in the black community. And it's one that should be for all of America. Uh, the irony, though, we know January 1st, 1863, to be the Emancipation Proclamation that abolished slavery in the U.S. More than two years later, June 19, 1865, was the actual day in which slaves and black people received the freedom in the U.S. Today is 155 years ago. Think about that. They say Juneteenth is a day of celebration and freedom, a day of reflection upon the struggle that was endured. Last night, I had a little bit of time to reflect and the question that just dawned on me is, what is freedom? By definition, it's the ability to act, think, speak, whenever you want, whatever you want, without any restraint. But another question I ask myself, how can a black community feel free in a world where racism, discrimination, and prejudice are normalized and condoned? When these things are taught, passed down by generation to generation, encouraged and oftentimes celebrated. How does the black community grow when lives are taken from them unjustly without any consequences? There's no more sweeping these harsh realities under the rug, putting band-aids over the scars just to rip them off down the line. It's time we hold everybody accountable. We gotta call out the lawmakers, the law officials, the state city reps, DAs, judges, politicians, police unions, Everybody who deems himself an enforcer of the law has to be held accountable. Justice is demanded. Sustainable change is necessary. But we know that we all have to continue to do our part in the community. We're dedicated up here as a team, as one unit. We're gonna to continue to protect this community. We're gonna to continue to invest ourselves in this community, but we need you guys as well. This is our home. We only go as far as we take us. Yes, we rely on the higher ups to make the, the smart decisions, the rash decisions. But we can control what we can do in our everyday walks. Continue to fight the good fight. Stand up for racism. Stand against the police brutality, the systemic injustice that our country continues to endure. Fight against it. Educate ourselves. Empower the youth. Educate them. Get out and vote. Impact the change in whatever way that you possibly can, but don't feel hopeless. Don't feel like you can't control anything. Because together we can. As athletes, and in basketball specifically, we have five fingers. And the fist always represents solidarity, team, and union. Whenever we get selfish and out of our ways, our coach puts up five fingers as sole individuals. There's no power in that. The same applies for us in the everyday world. There's power in unity. There's power in strength. So on this day of black independence, I ask everybody, my brothers and sisters up here and everybody out in the crowd, please lift up a fist. 
and in solidarity together on this Black Day of Independence and moving forward, we will stand for something bigger than ourselves. And on the count of three, let's yell, together we stand, because that's what our march is all about. One, two, three. Together, together we stand. stand. And that's our promise to you, but we need something in return from y'all. It can't be just a two-week thing. It can't be a, a sprint. Y'all got to be in it for the marathon. This isn't going to be something that's fixed overnight. This is going to take years to fix the systematic oppression, the systematic racism. But this is, this is part of it. We stand here together in solidarity, and we say that we will no longer be silent. We will no longer be silent in the face of racism, in the face of oppression. Represents solidarity, team, and union. Whenever we get selfish and out of our ways, our coach puts up five fingers and soul individuals. There's no power in that. The same applies for us in the everyday world. There's power in unity. There's power in strength. So on this day of Black Independence, I ask everybody, my brothers and sisters up here, and everybody out in the crowd, please lift up a fist. And in solidarity together on this Black Day of Independence and moving forward, we will stand for something bigger than ourselves. No justice! No peace! 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 No justice! One, two, three. Together we stand. 